died, she was aged about 18 to 20 months, then that's just far too old uh, for that death to be called sudden infant death syndrome. Kathy, did you kill Caleb? No! Did you kill Patrick? No! Did you kill Sarah? No! And did you kill Laura? Why did they change their minds? They didn't say. Yeah. Was there any forensic evidence that proved there was homicide? There was no positive evidence of homicide in relation to any child. With Sarah, all I wanted was her to shut up, and one day she did. The diaries reveal a tortured mind and I'd be very surprised if there are not millions of mothers who think like that. She's a fairly good-natured baby, thank goodness. It has saved her from the fate of her siblings. I think she was warned. So when she writes about her moods making her think and do terrible things, you don't think that's an admission? She never said anywhere in the diary of having any murderous rage. She didn't want to kill the children, and she clarified that in the police interviews. She never felt hate for those kids, unless there's an explicit confession that I have smothered the children with a pillow. It isn't a confession. Kathleen should never have been charged uh, and brought to trial uh, originally. I think it's a gross injustice that needs to be rectified. Why should she have never been charged? There's no evidence. The case is based on Meadows' cot death theory. Uh, one, cot death is a tragedy, two, suspicious, three, murder. And that has been shown to be totally erroneous and without any foundation. It's unscientific and the case is based on that. Sally's nightmare is over because the Court of Appeal decided she'd been wrongly convicted of killing her two boys, sons she'd barely begun to breathe for. Finally today, justice has been done and my innocence has been proven. But back in Australia, the same discredited argument was being used against Kathleen Folbig. How do you respond to criticism that you poisoned the waters of the trial against Kathleen Folbig? I don't know how I could do that. That criticism refers to the fact that you declared that there was a less than a one in one trillion chance that four deaths in one family could be attributed to SIDS. That was uh, incorrect. I was uh, citing um, Roy previous Meadow. literature, Roy Meadow. Um, I would never say that now, but I wouldn't change my diagnosis now. I would just say that it's uh, it would be impossibly rare, um, but I wouldn't put a number on it consequences of using these theories is we're putting innocent people in jail and that in our society is abhorrent. How big is the risk that Kathleen Folbig is one of those innocent people who is in jail? I think there's a high risk. I, I, I think there's a high risk that she's totally innocent. Hello, 
I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching. To keep up with the latest from 60 Minutes Australia, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You can also download the Nine Now app for full episodes and other exclusive 60 Minutes content.